Chapter 49, My Boyish Boys. Fifteen years later, I finally saw The Blind Side. Sandra Bullock's legs in it are yummy. She makes Dr. Melfi from The Sopranos feel guilty by comparison for spending too much time on her ass and not enough time on the Stairmaster. <laughs> I toughen myself up by letting my son punch me in the face without flinching. My son is only two, but his shots to my ear cause it to ring soon after. I need to write a part where he plays a bouncer at his sister's pop-up juice bar in Williamsburg called Lavender Light. HR, why have you been out of work for so long? Do it all, Dad. I'm launching an exploratory committee to find out and trying to raise money through Kickstarter for opposition research. Startups in New York City are keeping their distance from pro-Trumpian stay-at-home female dads like myself, despite consistent claims of promoting diverse inclusiveness. Do it all, dad. Explaining the toxic masculinity Gillette ad to my two boyish boys, aka stud alerts on the loose. Gillette is telling you to never bum rush a pretty girl in the street. That's why I'm insisting you boys never leave the house for junior high without your backpacks full with nothing but pre poundage release forms. Stay home dads like myself don't mind the Gillette ad because we work remote. Claims of sexual harassment are avoidable when your meeting on Skype starts with Before we start the meeting, fellas, raise your hands up high where I could see them. Explaining the Gillette ad to my two boyish boys. Do it all, Dad. If I shave my beard and tone down my toxic, ultra-divisive, pro-Trumpian joke postings on Twitter, I'll become less overtly threatening to the talent acquisition manager at WeWork in Manhattan.